Hi, I'm Miss Carol. Welcome to Abracadoodle. Some of you already know me. To some of you, I might be a new face, but hello, welcome. We're going to do a really fun lesson today. We're going to learn about American artist named George Roderick. George Roderick was what we call a pop artist, which means that he painted things that we see in popular culture. All right, so George was born in Louisiana, and he spent pretty much his whole life living in Louisiana. But when he was a very young man, a young boy, he got really sick and he had to spend a lot of time inside. And he was stuck at home, kind of like we are today. So he decided though to take advantage of this time that he was stuck at home and teach himself to do art. And he spent a lot of time at home doing art and he got to be really good. So it was something he's kept with him his whole life. He decided when he grew up that he was going to be an artist. And what his favorite thing to paint was landscapes of, um, that he saw all the time around Louisiana. So that would be mean things like swamps with alligators in them or big oak trees and things, all kinds of beautiful landscapes from Louisiana. But then one time he was asked to draw some pictures for a book and the book had some uh, stories in it. And one of the stories was about a dog. And so when he decided to draw the dog, he thought, he could draw it in the sort of to look like his real dog named Tiffany. This is what Tiffany looked like, a little black and white dog with big ears. And you can see the resemblance to Blue Dog, okay? So for the book, he kind of drew the same shape as his dog Tiffany, but he painted her blue in the book with those piercing yellow eyes, all right? And he had so much fun painting Tiffany that he painted hundreds and hundreds of pictures of her. So I have a book here about George R. Week, and it has a lot of pictures in here of Blue Dog. So I wanted to show you some of the fun ways that George painted her. All right, here's the first page. You can see a whole bunch of different Blue Dog paintings on here. And you can see that Tiffany has different backgrounds on there. All right, here's one where Tiffany has a bird on her head. That one's kind of silly. What else do we have? We have Tiffany in the garden. We have Tiffany wearing sunglasses, those bright red sunglasses. That's fun. We have Three Tiffany. So this one's really interesting because we have in the middle, you have Blue Dog, Tiffany, the way we always see her. And then we have Tiffany Red. That's a new one. And then we have Tiffany kind of look like she does in that photograph that I showed you with black and white. All right, what else is Tiffany up to? We have Tiffany in a white cowboy hat. And we have one more. Tiffany wearing a polka dot tie. All right, so it looks like George had a lot of fun painting Tiffany. And we're gonna have fun painting Tiffany today too, all right? I'm going to teach you how to draw Tiffany, okay? And then when we're done, we're gonna think about sending Tiffany on some adventures, okay? So we're going to need, in order to draw our Tiffany, we're gonna need paper. We're going to need Pencils, crayons, and markers, okay? So I'm going to show you how to draw her step by step, okay? You're going to use a pencil to draw her. And remember, when you're drawing with pencil, don't press too hard, press lightly so you can make it, uh, you can erase it if you make a mistake, okay? We all make mistakes. So it's good to be able to erase it, don't, so don't press too hard. And then we're gonna color her in with crayons. And you can uh, use some markers too if you wanna add some uh, outlines with the marker or something, okay? So we're gonna um, get started. I'll show you how to draw her. All right, what I have here is I have drawn for you the steps that we're going to use to um, draw Tiffany. So if you want to freeze your video on this um, sheet, you can use that later to help you draw Tiffany and have it all the steps in one spot. But I'm gonna also walk you through it, okay? So I have already 
drawn Tiffany here with pencil, but I know it's a little hard to see on the video, so I'm going to go over it with a marker. But remember, you are gonna use a pencil, okay? And you're gonna press lightly, so that way you can erase if you make any mistakes. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is start with Tiffany's head. And Tiffany's head is an oval shape, okay? So we're gonna draw that shape first. And you're gonna start a little bit from the top, maybe three fingers from the top of your paper. You wanna make sure you have room for Tiffany's ears and for her body. So you wanna make sure you're not too far into the middle. Okay, so toward the top. And when you draw your oval, you wanna leave the bottom open a little bit for her snout. Okay, so we're gonna draw our oval. It's gonna come around, it's gonna stop a little bit. All right, I'm gonna leave the bottom open. Now, if you draw your oval all the way through and don't leave an open space, you're doing it with pencil, so it's okay. So you can erase that line if you need to. All right, so I have Tiffany's head. I'm going to draw her snout, okay? So remember, Tiffany, that's actually that white stripe that we saw in the photograph of Tiffany. That's the white stripe on her nose. So it kind of has the shape of like a vase. So we're gonna start by drawing two parallel lines, all right? And then we're gonna kind of come around like this. Can get a little bit on the bottom there like that. All right, so there is her snout. And if you want, you can have the little triangle shapes on top since it is fur up there. All right, and then we have to draw, make it look more like a nose once we draw this little rectangle button nose at the bottom here. Now it looks a little bit more like a nose. All right, so next we're going to draw Tiffany's eyes. Those are round with a little black dot. All right, so she's coming along. So now her ears. Her ears are a triangle shape. She has some pretty big ears, so we're gonna make some large triangles on either side of her head. All right, and now Tiffany is the head. It's time to move on to her body. All right, so Tiffany does not really have much of a neck. You're gonna see she's, her body comes right down from her head. All right, so this is a tricky part. You're gonna come down, all right? I'm gonna do both sides first. All right, and then for her feet, they're just gonna be like kind of like another oval shape that comes out onto the side, all right? But the middle part of her body, it's like almost like an upside down U, all right? So if it helps you to think of it that way, or even turn your paper upside down and draw a U, it's like a little tunnel she has there, all right? And then you can connect her feet there, all right? And then you'll see in uh, George's pictures, he has these back feet and most of them that just kind of peek out, all right? Those are kind of like, look, almost looks like the letter L. Look at it that way. I see the letter L hiding, hiding in there. And then I can just sort of connect it there. And there we go, we've drawn Tiffany. All right, once we have it, you can go over it with marker before you draw, before you color her in if you want or you can just color it without um, tracing it with the marker. Remember, she always has those bright yellow eyes, so make sure you color those yellow. And then the rest, you're just gonna fill in. Now, we, Tiffany was most of the time blue, but we did see in the book, he did paint her um, red. We saw at least one where she was red. So if you feel strongly about painting Tiffany another color, go for it. But Try not to use a color that you might see a real dog. Let's, let's be fun and have Tiffany be pink or purple or blue or red or some color like that. Okay, let's have fun. Hi, I hope you had fun drawing Tiffany. All right, we learned how to draw her. All right, maybe you outlined her with a blue marker like I did in this one. Maybe you used a black marker like I was doing in my demo. All right, but um, you should have a pretty good idea now on how to draw Tiffany, bake, baking her down into the shapes, the oval head, the triangle ears, the circle eyes, the U underneath her, all right? So if, once you get pretty good at Tiffany, drawing Tiffany, we're gonna send her on some adventures, okay? Since we are stuck at home this time, let's send Tiffany out to have some fun for us, okay? We can imagine anywhere to send her. If you could go anywhere right now, where would you go? Would you go to the moon? Would you be flying around in outer space? 
Would you go to the beach? Would you go to the top of a volcano? Would you be flying around in the sky like a bird? I right? think, or maybe you're deep in the forest, right? Think about some fun places that you can send her, right? So when you do it a second time, after you've learned how to draw her, right? We're going to put her in some kind of a background, right? This one, I put her in the garden, okay? That's sort of basic, but you can send her someplace really exciting, okay? You're gonna need to draw her a little bit smaller than we did in our first drawing, okay? So that you have room to include some kind of um, background for her. All right, let me show you some places that George Rodriguez sent Tiffany, all right? Tiffany went to the desert. There she is hanging out with some cactus, so maybe maybe your Tiffany can go to the desert, okay? Where else? George sent Tiffany to the beach. She's hanging out under an umbrella there. That seems like a fun place to send Tiffany. Maybe we can pretend we're at the beach right now with Tiffany and we can draw her splashing around in the ocean. And here, Tiffany, she's flying on a magic carpet, right? That's fun, and that could take us anywhere. Where could she take us in her magic carpet? Let's think, imagine where we're gonna go with Tiffany. And I want you to draw Tiffany having some fun, someplace really exciting. And then if you could send me those photos, that would be awesome. Take a picture of your artwork, send them to me, and then maybe we can share them, okay? I would love to see the different adventures that Tiffany's gonna go on, okay? Have some fun.